Villa Museum was a house for George and Nell Fabian from 1905 until 1939. It was redesigned by Frank Lloyd Wright in 1907. After 1907, the Fabians decided to expand their estate. They called their estate Riverbank, but they called the house the villa. What put me over the wall to volunteer here was my interest in Frank Lloyd Wright. And then when I got inside, I found out so much more about the history of the house and its importance to the area and its importance on a national basis that I just uh, wanted to learn more and more. Here at the villa, I am a docent. I give tours throughout the house. You meet a lot of really interesting people. I've had some very interesting groups. What makes it unique to be here at the Fabian Villa Museum and Japanese Garden is that you really get to be part of history. You get to tell the Fabian legacy. Uh, the Japanese garden here at the Fabian Forest Preserve is a historic site. Uh, this garden was designed in 1910 for George and L. Fabian, whom the preserve is named for, and they lived in the house that is now the Villa Museum. Japanese gardens are designed to encourage harmony with nature, achieving a sense of tranquility, and you can get that while you're volunteering. Well, there's two basic types of volunteering at the garden. You can be a greeter, is, is what we call it, during the open hour, and the public is allowed to stroll through. The other volunteer job is, um, we call it the green team. A garden needs a lot of maintenance, so the Forest Preserve does ask for volunteers to help weed primarily, but you know, sometimes you can get involved with um, moving plants, adding new plants, that kind of thing. So. You're outside, so that's a good part. If you like not a typical sit in an office type of environment, um, you get to interact with people from all over the world and every day it's different. You may get a chance to visit people that are just biking through the forest preserve who want to get a chance to learn more, and you're here to help them do that. I think it's important to share and give back to the community in which you live, and that's the reason I volunteer. It's really important that we keep places like this open because we have a tendency to forget our history. This is your chance and your opportunity to introduce them to Frank Lloyd Wright, to introduce them to the Fabian legacy, and you really get a chance to tell an important history for Northern Illinois and the Fox Valley especially. If you've got a couple spare hours, just come. You only have to do it once or twice a month, and it's fascinating.